Hello what's up guys so in this video, I'm gonna teach you that how you can fix your iPhone iPad or iPod if it is stuck at Apple logo iTunes logo or any other stuck problem. It usually happens while updating the software of our phone but you don't have to worry I'm gonna fix it without data loss. Yes guys your all data will be saved no matter your iPhone is stuck at Apple logo or iTunes logo, it fixes all stuck problems. So watch this full video because I've created step to step guide for everybody. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment and share. Let's start the video. So this method works on all iPhones, iPads and iPods. So now let's connect your phone with the computer. But if your phone is stuck at Apple logo so your computer will not detect the phone. So for that, you have to put your phone in DFU mode. And if your phone is stuck at iTunes logo you don't need to put it on DFU mode. Put your phone in DFU mode only if your phone is stuck at Apple logo not iTunes logo. It's very simple to put iPhone in DFU mode. Just search on YouTube that how to put iPhone 7 or 6 or X in DFU mode. And you will find so many videos for that so watch any video and follow the instructions to get into the DFU mode. It is very easy to put our iPhone in DFU mode. Every iPhone has different way of getting into DFU mode. Look right now I have iPhone 7 in my hand. And I'm gonna put it in DFU mode. So the first step is to plug in your iPhone iPad or iPod to your computer. In iPhone 7 press and hold the lock button and volume down button at the same time. Keep holding both the buttons for 10 seconds and when screen goes black release the lock button but keep holding the volume down button for another 10 seconds. If the screen remains black then it means you have entered in DFU mode. Or if you see plug into iTunes screen, it is also fine. If you see the Apple logo on the screen of your iPhone, then you have to start all over again as you held the buttons for too long. Anyways now make sure that you have the latest version of iTunes installed. You'll find link in description of the video. So you'll see restore iPhone button in iTunes but we will not gonna restore the phone using iTunes. Because it will erase everything in our iPhone. That is why we are going to use 3 U tools. It is totally free. I personally use this software and it is very nice tool for fixing our iPhone iPad or iPod. We gonna restore our iPhone using this 3U tool because it will not erase our phone's data. You can download this tool by going to 3U.com. Now simply go into the Flash and JB option. And here you will see a marked firmware. So you have to download this. Make sure do not download the beta version. So simply press the download button and after that it will start downloading your iPhone iOS latest firmware version. It normally takes 30 minutes to download depends on your internet speed. I'm gonna cancel the downloads progress because I've already downloaded this firmware file. So I am selecting this file manually by pressing the import button. So when your download will complete it will verify your file. It may take few seconds to verify the file. So after that you just need to mark this option at the bottom, and press the flash button to start restoring the iPhone without data loss. Make sure to turn on this retails user's data while flashing, this will prevent your iPhone from erasing. To download firmware file manually, just visit the ipsw.me website, you'll find link in description of the video. So come here and identify my iOS device, now here select your device. And insert the model number in the box at the bottom. You will find your model number on the back of your iPhone, iPad or iPod. So find it and insert it in the box and simply press the green button find my device. Now it will detect your iPhone so here press download latest button to download the firmware file manually. I'm telling you this because if you are having problem in download firmware file using 3U tools. So you can download it manually from here. So these are two options for you. You can use 3U tools to download the firmware file, or download file manually from that website. Now when download will complete make sure to mark this checkbox at the bottom and press the flash button to start fixing your device. If you will not turn on that checkbox, your all data will be erased in the phone, so make sure to turn on that checkbox. Now it is flashing our device firmware, it may take few minutes to complete. Make sure to use original USB cable of an iPhone which comes with its box, or purchase original USB cable. Because when we use cheap Chinese USB cables to flash iPhone so it gives error in between the flashing process. Now wait for the completion and do not disconnect your iPhone. So this was the method of fixing. 
I've saved your money please donate me now one dollar in my PayPal. It's in description. Let me tell you that if you disconnect your iPhone during this process, it will stuck at iTunes logo. It usually happens when we update software of our phone but you do not have to worry about it. If you are stuck on iTunes logo screen, you have to use the same method to fix it. Simply connect your phone to computer and flash it using 3U tools. You can also use iTunes to fix it. But I recommend you to use 3U tools because it is easy. But if you wanna know that how to use iTunes, so let me tell you the method. After opening the iTunes, you will see two buttons here. One is to update and other is to restore. You have to press the update button in iTunes, and it will download a firmware file in iTunes. You can also download firmware file manually from ipsw.me website, and after that select the manually downloaded file in iTunes. To select it press the update button by pressing and holding the shift button on Windows, and option button in Mac, and it will ask you for the file, so select it to start flashing. iTunes is little bit complicated, so I recommend you to use 3U tools instead of iTunes to fix your iPhone iPad and iPod. Now it will start flashing your device. It may take few minutes. Make sure to use original USB cable for flashing the device to avoid any kind of errors. So now you have two options. You can use 3U tools or you can use iTunes. But actually what I recommend is 3U tools. So this was the video, which I have created to help you guys to fix your iPhone iPad and iPod. If you get any kind of error in iTunes while flashing your device, Please look at the description of this video for the fixes. Do not forget to subscribe, like, comment and share this video to your friends. My microphone was not working that's why I am using this robotic voice sorry for that. So now let's wait for it to complete the flashing process. So as you can see my iPhone, it has turned on and fixes all the stuck issues without data loss. Actually there was no data in my iPhone, that's why it is asking me to set up the phone. But you will not get this activation screen after flashing so do not worry, your all data will safe. Thanks a lot for watching this full video, give a thumbs up, subscribe, comment and share your opinion about this video. Love you all.